I think it's about time that we take a page from George Orwell and take a look at what's been happening with the police in the United States of America over the last few decades. Now, there have been a massive influx in police support in blue liners that just believe that blue lives matter. Now, I'm not going to be the one to rip the bandaid off and tell everybody that blue lives don't exist. But an occupation is an occupation, and serving the public is supposedly the occupation of police officers. However, it seems as though right-wingers have gone cross-eyed. They can't tell if they want us to keep our Second Amendment right or if they want police officers to be able to shoot you in your own home just for simply holding a gun in your hand. Now, of course, I'm talking about the incident that happened with U.S. Airman Robert Fortson. I myself have posted a few YouTube shorts and TikToks talking about this situation. However, despite the amount of heat that I've been receiving for defending a man who was just simply holding a weapon in his own home and not threatening the life of anybody, I've decided to make this official response. I do not like the police. I have never liked the police. I will never like the police. Authoritarian, totalitarian douchebags that walk around and pray like they're doing God's work. Now, within the Bill of Rights, we have a lot of different things that are supposedly supposed to protect us from the police. One of those things should also be the right to bear arms. Now, the individual in question, if you look at the body cam footage, wasn't holding the weapon in a threatening way. He did not have his finger on the trigger. He wasn't pointing it at the officer. Sheriff's office, open the door! Fortune appears and is shot almost instantaneously. Watch closely, slow down, and you see the door open. There appears to be a gun in Fortune's right hand but it's pointing downward, never aimed at the officer, who immediately fires. I think there's this notion that most right-wing people don't really need police officers. They kind of foam at the mouth for the opportunity to shoot anyone that breaks into their house anyway. So when they start to dick ride the piggies, I have no idea what it's for or where it's based off of. Unironically, this all happened within the same county as the Acorn officer. Now, I'm sure most of you remember this footage of this officer who decided to unload his entire clip on an unarmed individual that was already detained in his own fucking vehicle. A deputy screams, shots fired, takes out his gun and fires it multiple times at the patrol car nearby. Watch again in slow motion as the acorn falls on the roof of the car. The reality of it is they're dodge. They're effectively dodge to keep the people low and to keep them poor. You slap people with numerous different violations for this and that and all your bureaucracy. The United States has more people incarcerated per capita than pretty much the rest of the goddamn world. The United States of America has been shooting itself at its own fucking foot for decades. All of our local, county, state, and federal police forces are effectively used to drive a wedge between the poor and the wealthy. Some of you may also remember this incident with these two female officers who decided to unload their firearms on a home homeowner who was breaking in to her own home. Officers unloading more than two dozen rounds through the front of the apartment. One deputy reloading her gun and continuing to shoot. Go down, go down. Go down. A woman on the other side of the wall identified as Ebony Pouncey shot several times. Charles Paul, we need people shot fired. Deputies only then finding Ebony? is supposed to be here. I don't really care about how it makes you feel, but I genuinely do not and will not ever need a police officer. Now, of course, there are going to be some exceptions to the golden rule of committing legal crimes against your fellow man because you're a fucking officer of the law. There are police officers who do good. There are police officers who will do the right thing and have integrity when nobody else is looking. However, one bad apple kind of spoils the whole batch. Imagine an entire fucking career where you have to carry a goddamn camera on you because of the instant numerous amount of lying and manipulation. The United States Police Force is an uncanny joke, and it's going to more than likely stay that way with no reprimandable change. My advice to you is look out, avoid authority at all costs, and enjoy the rest of your fucking day committing whatever crimes you want to commit as long as they don't genuinely affect your neighbors, loved ones, and people around you in a negative manner. Thank you. This has been Botstrums. Good night. Complete.